Hi there, I'm Brian Whitmore, director of the Russia program here at SEPA, and this is a vertical video. European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker last month called for an end to what he called Russia bashing and said it was time to reconnect with Vladimir Putin's regime. U.S. President Donald Trump a couple weeks back said Putin's Russia should be readmitted to the G7, making it the G8. Earlier this month, Italy's new Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte said his government would be advocates of an opening toward Russia, adding that it's time to end some EU sanctions against Moscow. This week, U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton travels to Moscow, and of course next month it appears that Trump will finally meet Putin in Vienna. So once again, talk of resets, détentes, and grand bargains with the Kremlin are in the air. But before we get to Yalta 2, here's a few things to consider. First, a deal with Moscow effectively means capitulating to extortion. Putin's regime has hacked and corrupted the West institutions, meddled in its elections, and used nerve agents and radioactive isotopes against our citizens. And the Kremlin has done so, at least partially, to get the West to cry uncle and sue for peace. Second, a deal with Moscow effectively means sacrificing the sovereignty of Russia's neighbors, most notably Ukraine and Georgia, because this is the bottom line for the Kremlin in any grand bargain. Putin's regime has invaded its neighbors, annexed their territory, and kidnapped their citizens. And any new detente, reset, or grand bargain would effectively say, hey, we're okay with that. And finally, cutting a deal with Putin will not solve the West's Russia problem. This conflict is effectively a normative struggle between one system based on the rule of law, accountability and transparency, and another based on kleptocracy, impunity, and autocracy. Putin has staked his legitimacy on a conflict with and the destruction of the Western system. He's not going to stop. In fact, any grand bargain will only encourage him and should be avoided at all costs. Let us know what you think on Twitter and on Facebook. I'm Brian Whitmore, and this was a Vertical Video.